Hey guys, welcome to the first video of 2021. This is going to be a two part video. And at this point of the school year, we should all be familiar with how to use PowerPoint and kind of its basic, uh, most recognized uh, form. This time around, however, I'm going to have you guys create a timeline of your life using PowerPoint. You could use this for a history class, science, uh, ELA, really uh, lots of different. Um, applications for some of the tools that you're going to learn how to use in this project. So before I show you how to do it, let me explain how you get a 100 on this project. You're going to need two titles, top and bottom. You're going to need 13 vertical year lines. So what I mean by that is here's our vertical lines along the way and underneath you see the years that correspond uh, with when you were born. Um, overall project neatness, the layout, the spelling is going to be worth 20 points. And then here's where you get the meat of your project, 60 points for the six personal events and six world events on your timeline. So for this project, I'm going to ask that you use the actual PowerPoint program. For my online students, uh, that do not have access to the actual PowerPoint program. You can use PowerPoint online. It's absolutely fine. There are some tools that are going to be in either different locations or uh, some, for some tools that unfortunately are just not available. Please attend the live meetings and teams. We can talk about ways to get around those and make sure that you uh, end up with a neat, nice looking project. So I'm going to go to File, New, Blank Presentation. I'm going to add a new slide and I'm going to add a blank slide. Go back and delete this previous slide. Let me skip ahead real quick because I need to turn these off and make sure that it looks how it's going to look when you open it up. So there we go. Should be completely blank and will not have a name because we have not named this yet. So File save as for now we're going to save this just to our desktop and i would like you to call it timeline your first and last name and then which class period you have me okay so there we go up top we see it's changed and from time to time you may need to hit save uh, your computer may be auto saving it for you. So now the first thing we want to do is go up here to view. And then we're going to select the ruler, which gives us the vertical and horizontal rulers here. And then the grid lines, which gives us these little dotted lines uh, and gives us an idea for uh, just drawing little straight lines and spacings. All right, so now we're going to go to shapes. And what we're looking for is the line arrow, and it's got um, arrows on both sides of it. So we're going to select this. We're going to go down to zero. We're going to go almost all the way to the end of the page, and we're going to click and drag with our mouse until we've got it from one side of the page to the other. We're going to go to shape outline. We're going to turn it black, and then we're going to return to that outline. We're going to go to the weight, which deals with the thickness of the line. And we're going to select three point. There we go. So now we're going to go back up to shapes. We're going to put in those year lines. So what we're looking for is just the line with no arrows. And we're just going to draw one right here, but yay sized. Same thing. Shape outline, black. Outline, weight three point all right now you could repeat that process all the way across individually or you could select it control c and then paste and throw them in there all right so that's control v that's pasting them all right so as you drag these in and drop them the problem that is so difficult to deal with is 
Like this one looks kind of level. This one looks a little high. This one looks a little low. How do we make sure that we're putting these at the exact same spot? So what you can do is you can select one of these and right click with your mouse and you'll get this menu. All the way down at the bottom, you can go to Format Shape. Get this menu, and this is what we're looking for right here, Size and Properties, and then Position. And what we're concerned with is the vertical position. All right. So it looks like 3.3 .3 is kind of right in the middle. So I can go back to this one and adjust it to 3.3. .3. And so on. And what that gives you is something that will eventually look like this. All right. Now, to save time, I'm going to skip ahead to this slide right here. And all of these are evenly spaced. So now we need to go back up to shapes and we need to put our two text boxes in for the titles. So I'm going to select text box. All right, so events in the life of Chris Couch. Now from here, you've got options. You can highlight this and center it. Um, and we could use the ruler to center it to the center of the page. You can change the fonts if you would like, the size. Please don't go too large because you need uh, plenty of room. Um, for your life events. You can select a color if you would like at this point. And then we need another one down at the bottom. So I'm just going to copy this one. No, oh, computer didn't like that. Still doesn't like it. There we go. And I'm just going to drag the second one down here. I'm just going to call this events in world history. All right, now if I wanted to make sure these were completely even, I could drag these all the way to the edge of the page and then center it. Uh, but again, to save time, I'm just going to move on. Oh, it looks like I've got an extra line here. There we go. All right, so now we need to add the dates down at the bottom here. All right, so shapes, I'm just going to draw one right here. We're going to, don't worry about the size of it. We're going to change it. And this should be uh, the year that you were born. All right. Um, so I'm just going to put in there 2006. All right. But we actually need these to, to go vertically. And this is rolling horizontally. So before clicking out of it, if I just go over here to text direction, click that and I'm going to rotate 90 degrees. Then I need to stretch it. And then I need to move it into place. OK, so once I've got one, again, control C, control V, and I can take and grab a bunch of these move them into place. Now, same thing. If you're concerned with are some high or some low, you can go through and use the same uh, process as far as how we got these in place by right clicking and going through the shape format. You can do the same with these text boxes. Again, to save time, I'm going to fast forward. And this is kind of um, what you should finish up with at this step. You've got your title at the top, title at the bottom, there's your line, and here's your 13 year lines and the dates in place. All right, so if we peek ahead, we've got all this to do, all right? So I'm going to work right here on this slide and show you how this works. So from here, we're just going to go back up, shapes. I'm going to draw a text box. A 
and say, I was born in Hawaii, even though I wasn't. All right, I'm going to make the text box uh, fit a little bit better. I'm going to outline it in black. And now I need an arrow going from this box to the timeline. So now I want this one right here, the line arrow. Once you select it, you just click and drag. And don't worry about where in the year, as long as if you were born in 2006, it would be somewhere between 2006 and seven. Shape outline. And this is where you can begin to um, change the project a little if you'd like to add some colors. Absolutely, go for it. And again, if you want to change the weight, uh, maybe I'll try two and a quarter there. Okay. And again, maybe you decide, well, I've got green arrows. I actually want the outside green. Go up and change it. Okay. So you're going to continue doing that all the way across here. And then all the way across on the bottom. So the events on the top are all personal events, all things that happened to you in your lifetime. The things down at the bottom are events that happened during the world in which you've been alive. All right, these are world events. So where do you find some of these world events? Hey man, don't ask me, ask Google. So all we're going to do is go to Google and type in world events by year. And there's tons of websites that you can use. Uh, I'm going to use this first one. And it's got all these world events by year. So if we scroll down and find, uh, we'll pick 2010. I don't want to see the ad. You've got all these events that you can scroll through and find, right? Now, each year has got highlights, which are some of the larger events that happened. Uh, and you can find, here we go, the Deepwater Horizon um, oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. So if we go to my finished timeline, that's actually one I used that happened in 2010. So there you have it. Actually, it looks like this video is going to be finished up in one video. Now, that's a brief overview. I will be um, available all week and showing you this in team meetings for my online students. So if you've got questions, this is something we can definitely work through together. So there you go. That's going to be your next project is your PowerPoint timeline. Um, just so you know, uh, once you go to slideshow, even though those little guidelines are there in the ruler, once you go to slideshow, you don't see any of that. And you've got a nice, clean, finished project. It's so sad. Who, who even knew Kermit and Miss Piggy broke up, man? What's the world come to? All right. So that's it. See you next time, guys. Bye.